Okay, everybody, let's recap the lesson. Um, so we're talking about compound inequalities. So the whole idea is with compound inequalities, there's going to be two signs. Either it's going to be greater than and greater than or less than with another lesson. So you've got basically two equations, okay? So we start out with an example, okay? Here's my example. I've got a negative 3 is less than or equal to 2x plus 7 less than 11. So in a sense, because of the two signs, we have two equations. We have this first equation right here. Negative 3 less than or equal to 2x plus 7. So I wrote that down. And I have a second equation right here. I've got my 2x plus 7 is less than 11. I wrote that over here. And I just solved both of them. So I went over to the left-hand side and I solved this with minus 7 minus 7. I got negative 10. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and I got x is. If you read it backwards, you've got to read it x backwards. x is greater than, you got to read x first. x is greater than or equal to negative 5, okay? So then I went over and I solved the other side. On the right-hand side, the second equation. And I went minus 7, minus 7, and I got 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and I got x is less than 2. So I graphed both. Solid dot for 5 greater than. Greater than or equal to 5, I shade this direction, but as well, and x is less than 2, I shade this direction, and then of course the solution's in between. Okay, so then we rewrite the answer as this, negative 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2, or if I read it backwards, x is greater than or equal to negative 5 and less than 2. Okay, so then we did a second, whoops, you can't see that, I'm sorry about that, There's, there it is, I talked about it, my bad, there it is, now you can see it, okay. So we re rewrote it, x is greater than or equal to negative 5, graph that, and x is less than 2, okay? Then we took a look at a second example, and we have negative 12 is greater than 4x minus 8, which is greater than or equal to 24. And again, I see two different equations. Here's my first equation, negative 12 is greater than or equal to greater than, or, greater than 4x minus 8, or here's my second equation, 4x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 24, and I need to solve for both. Okay, so again, I went plus 8, plus 8 on this equation on the left-hand side. I got negative 4 is greater than 4x, so divide by 4, divide by 4. And I have x is, i got to read it backwards, x is less than negative 1. Okay, so I rewrote it. Okay, came over to the right-hand side and solved this equation, plus 8, plus 8, give you 32, divide by 4, divide by 4 x is greater than or equal to 8. Okay, so then when I graph both of these to be less than negative 1, open circle, less than negative 1 is shaded this way, greater than or equal to 8, solid dot, and I go this direction. Okay, now if I want to rewrite the whole thing, it does say x is less than negative 1, or x is greater than or equal to negative 8. So I rewrite my equation. Now, in the book, the book does it a little bit differently. I don't know if this works for you. Some kids like to do it this way. They don't break it into two different equations. They just keep the two inequalities all the way through. And then what you're going to do is solve it on both sides. So minus 7. So i got to get rid of the 7. So if I have to get rid of the 7, we went minus 7. We do it here and here. We get our 4. And then we get our negative 10. And then we divide by 2, but divide everything by 2 on all sides. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. And then we get a negative 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 2. Some kids like prefer to do that. And some kids prefer to break it up into two equations. It's up to you. All right, that's all I have. Um, come see me if you have any questions, and we'll go from there. All right.